Hi, this is Cherie with Rehash Fiber. I have a really fun pattern for you today. And also, if you have some hand spun yarn that you love, but it's just not quite perfect, I have a way for you to use it. All right, when I learned to spin, I spun like a maniac for about two years straight. I just was having so much fun. I grabbed whatever fiber I could and I spun it up. So I've been spending the past year working through that fiber because it's sitting there full of potential and I want to use it and I want to have fun doing it and make nice things with it, even though it's not perfect yarn. So I brought two projects together. First of all, I had spun a beautiful 50-50 baby camel hair silk fiber from Jakira Farms. It is absolutely beautiful. This is what I have right here. It's so soft and so beautiful to work with. I came across that cake of yarn and I knew I wanted to use it. So I had a pattern that I had printed up a few months ago that I knew I liked and I wanted to use. It is the Tie Closure Lace Trellis Shawl by Gretchen Tracy. Now, hers calls for 220 yards of yarn and she used cotton with a size six needles. Mine was running a little bit big. I needed a size 10 needle to make it work. I went ahead and gave it a try. My yarn did not quite work with her pattern. However, I love this pattern and I'm gonna try it again with the right yarn. So I'm gonna tell you how to modify it. I worked it as the instructions said, but when I came to the second to the last row, it's the row before binding off, the pattern has you decrease every other one. So it's like gathered and then you bind off. Do not do the every other decrease and don't bind off. At that point, follow the pattern as you've been doing. It's rows one through four. Keep following that, but mirror the opposite of what you did when you were increasing. So to start off, you're adding a stitch every other row as you increase. So when you're decreasing, you're just gonna decrease a stitch at each end every other row so that it mirrors this. I hope I was clear enough on that. So I ended up with this nice little over the shoulder garment that worked out really well. I think it's super cute. I have not found the perfect cloak pin yet. But that will go right here and it came out quite well. The only thing that I would recommend is use your softer yarn. I wouldn't want this right up on my neck if it was scratchy. So this being the baby camel hair and silk, it's super soft, super comfortable, great next to skin. So that brings me to something else as I was reading this past week. Here's a little fun tip for you. I had not heard this before. If you have, well, you know, but I didn't know. I usually take the yarn and I'll just hold it next to my neck for a little bit and if it's itchy then I don't I know I don't want it next to skin but this person knitted up a swatch called it the bra test stuck it in a bra and if she could make it till the end of the day she knew it was good to go I'm like perfect you know if it gets itchy you got to take it out it's not going to work next to your skin so just remember that little bra test pretty fun pretty funny it works anyway all right, everybody. Well, happy knitting if you do the lace trellis cowl. So happy spinning if you get some of the beautiful fiber from Chakira Farms. Thanks for watching.